Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something a little bit different. I've got the latest two player introductory starter set for Infinity of the Game. This one is Operation Cold Front and it sees two factions inside. It sees Aleph and it also sees Ariadna. And we're going to take a look and see what you get inside the box today. But if this is your first time here, thanks for watching. If you're interested in Infinity, either as a brand new player never played before, or if you're a bit of a seasoned player and you want to try and help me along my path, why not click the subscribe button so you don't miss any uploads from me. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what you get inside the box. So this is the box you'll receive. Inside this slip cover, there'll be a white box inside. And inside here is everything that you need to get up and running and play in Infinity. So uh, I have opened this, so potentially yours will be in a bit of a different order. But you get quite a chunky rule book here, which is an introduction to Infinity and the Operation Cold Front Mission Pack. Now there are two sides to this. It's one size reversed. You'll see here there's a kind of a, a British and uh, American flag here, which is the English um, rules. However, there are also Spanish rules as well. So when you open the box, if you see the Spanish flag, don't panic thinking that you may have got the wrong rule book. It's a double book. Uh, inside here, you will see a bit of an introduction. Let me get that a little bit better on the camera. An introduction to Infinity. There's a lot of background information here as well. There's a little bit about the two factions that you'll get inside here is Ariadna and we'll come into the miniatures in a little bit more detail. There's also the Aleph and again we'll come on to that. And then it's broken down into five different missions. Yeah, so it's focusing. It's broken down into five different missions that you can play through and each mission will gradually teach you more rules of the game. As you can see it's all full colour and it breaks it down very easily to understand. You'll also get some cardboard tokens. So here you'll see there are order tokens, there is uh, lieutenant tokens, there's camo tokens, uh, there's a measure here, although I, I, I assume you'd want to use it, um, uh, a tape measure. And there's also some silhouette tokens here as well for determining line of sight. Now whilst these are just kind of quite thin cardboard, they are exactly just what you need to get started. You may want to invest in them. And um, some different tokens if you were to get into the game, but certainly these will get you started. Now underneath that, uh, there's a plastic tray here, and this will have the miniatures in. I'll put a little shot in here of how the miniatures come packaged, but obviously I've built mine up so I can show you them. You also get six uh, custom dice here as well. There's only four in the pack, because I've also already got a couple under camera, which I'll show you now. Um, the one on the left there is the Ariadna custom dice, and it has the Ariadna sort of faction logo on the one side, and the white dice there on the right is the Aleph dice, and again, the, uh, the faction symbol is on the one. So, underneath the tray, you then get this pack, which inside, if I just move this one away, inside is the scenery to enable you to play now, Infinity is played on a 4x4 table normally if you play a full-size game, but certainly for the missions in this pack and as an introduction, um, this is, I think off the top of my head, it's about 24 by 32 inch mat, but we'll have a look at that now. So, inside, a little bit of information about what you get in there. You then get this, which is double-sided. One side is a very um, nice Infinity poster, should you want to uh, decorate your your gaming room or your gaming cave. Um, it is slightly bigger than that actually, but I just don't want to get it, can't get it all on camera there. But on the flip side is the actual mat that you can play on. Now it is only paper, which obviously is not uh, probably not ideal for long-term use. However, I'll put a link to a video I did for Walking Dead on how to turn your paper mats into a board by uh, backing them with mount board. That would be quite useful for this. But certainly for these missions, this is exactly what you need. And as an introductory box, it really is useful to have everything you need inside that two-player set. Lots of two-player sets then assume that you've, got, you've already got some scenery or you've got something you can use. This one here actually has everything you need. Speaking of which, let's come on to the scenery itself. So once you open it up, you'll see this cardboard scenery. And you might be thinking, why do I want cardboard scenery? Like That won't last very long. However, you're just starting out. You won't have anything. And as I mentioned before, this is a two-player introductory set, so it really does get you up and running. Everything you need is in this box. 
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of these smaller buildings or containers. And then there is one, two, three, four of these bigger ones. And they go together really easily, as you can imagine. They're just sort of cardboard boxes where they fold in, um, flip around. And there you have scenery ready to go, like a small container. Perfect. Now, the bigger ones are a little trickier, but still not too hard to do. And again, these just fold uh, the bottom bits fold inside. And if you do get sort of more into Infinity, um, all of the different army kit, all the army boxes, I should say, that you get come with a little cardboard box insert, and they fit right inside these perfectly. So, there we have it. So, these are smaller buildings, or the bigger buildings, I should say, and then the smaller container crates. But once you have the entire board out, they'll work perfectly. So what you really want to see is the quality of the miniatures, and they are fantastic, let me tell you. So we'll start with the um, with the ALF faction, and I'll take you through what you get inside the box. So you can see here that I've, I've already built these up, and um, they come on those round plastic bases. I've just put some uh, some cork and sand and gravel and stuff just for how I want to decorate them. And um, so those obviously don't come in the box. But what you can see here is three uh, Dakini tack bots. Uh, and these are basically your kind of your main sort of troopers or your main grunts. You can see the detail is really, really kind of crisp. There's very little cleanup on these, just the kind of the air vents that you have to snap off. Um, they do come on, uh, not these ones in particular, but some of them come on like a sort of tab for a slaughter base. The bases can be used as slaughter bases, but I've just um, pinned them into the cork and into the plastic bases themselves. Yeah, these are the Dakini uh, tack bots. You then have one of the Yadu troops, which is a tactical uh, assault team, um, which is, a, again, a really, really nice sculpt. Let me just spin that around so you can see it from a different angle as well. You can see how she's kind of leaning in and, uh, and shooting up into the sky there or shooting up against somebody who's looking down on her with a bit of a sniper, perhaps. But, yeah, re again, really crisp, really nice, uh, really nice sculpt. Next up, we have a Devis Functionaries, which... Uh, Looks like kind of a some kind of human esque, almost a little bit like Vision, I think, from the Avengers. That kind of sort of um, sort of AI controlled type thing. I'm not, I'm not as you can tell, I'm not big up on the, on the fluff yet. I've literally this is my first sort of foray into Infinity, so apologies if I'm butchering any of this. But anyway, you can see it, it is a really really crisp model. Um, what you probably can't see in that picture is just the, the kind of the detail on the head. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. It just gives you a bit of an idea of just how nice the quality of that is as well. Really, really uh, crisp details. Hardly any mold line to them. Again, they were very, very easy to clean up. Next up is a Nagas. Uh, and this comes with a kind of a sculpted base as well, which I've obviously uh, stuck down some sand around it. Again, this looks like some kind of sniper model. Uh, it really is a nice sculpt. Again, I'll spin it around so you can see the back of it. Sort of big flowing hair over the top of what looks like a rucksack there, I think. And I'm looking for a bit of a distance here. So it, yeah, it's again fantastic quality. I can't I can't say enough good things about the quality of these miniatures. I'll come on to putting them together in a minute because they're not concerns as such, but I wouldn't say suggest that these are for people that have never put a model, model together before. We'll come on to that. And the last one for the ALF faction is this gentleman who is a Shakura consultant. Again, you can see for yourself just the level of detail on that. I've been uh, working with plastic miniatures for so long now that I've kind of forgotten just how crisp the detail can be on these metals. Infinity models really do have a, a sort of a reputation to be some of the best, if not the best, out there. And actually getting them into my hands and in front of my face just kind of goes to, goes to prove that, I guess. Uh, okay, so that is the uh, the seven models that you get for ELF. Let's move across to the Ariadna models. So again, let's start with the main kind of troopers uh, for your faction, and these are the Line Kazakhs. I've read some of the some of the background, so I'm probably butchering it now, but these are kind of like your Russian troopers, if you like. And again, I just I keep saying the same thing, basically, but the quality is fantastic. Let's move on to the next ones. Here we've got one of the Tank Hunters, and again, comes with a little bit of a kind of a molded base there as well. And you can see it kind of just raising that goggles to look out there, the rifle held nice and high. Again, fantastic quality. We then have this model, which is a veteran Kazakhs. You can see he's much more armoured than the, the standard line Kazakhs. Looks like he's got some kind of uh, gun with a, a silencer on the end there. Much more armoured. 
Reminds me a little of some kind of a breach trooper type thing. So, yep, that's another one of the Ariadna models. Next, we've got an Ariadna scout. Uh, with kneeling down there as well with uh, with gun ready. They're really thematic poses. One thing I would say about all of the models in this set, they really are thematic. You can see there yeah, on the back the way that the foot kind of just there coming out behind um, and also the box sack of the, the bone cape. Um, the, the level of detail is fantastic. Even when I cut off the, the tabs of the bottoms of these so I could just mount them to the cork. Um, even the foot that's placed down on the ground still had all of the um, treads on the boot sort of sculpted in as well. So even the bits you don't see, they're just, there's, there's real attention to detail. With these. This brings me on to the last model in the set, which is probably my favourite. And this is the Armata 2 Project Ratnik. It's some kind of, uh, <laughs> looks like some kind of bot, really, some kind of uh, mech. Um, I'm not sure. I'm assuming looking at the sculpt, potentially there could be somebody riding inside it. But I'll have to do a bit more digging into the background. But as you can see, he's got some form of a uh, kind of big rocket hammer type thing in his hand and a gun with some rocket salvos on his shoulders as well. Um, but just to put it next to one of the other models so you can see the scale, this is one of the uh, ALF models, which just gives you an idea of the size um, of, of that model. But that's it. Seven models for the Ariadna, seven for the LF, and um, that's what you get the content in the box. So then, folks, what do you think? I know that um, I mentioned about the models going together. I did have a little bit of trouble getting them together at first. Um, I couldn't really get the, the glue to set. Uh, and what I found was I really had to give them a good scrub in kind of a soapy water, a good kind of uh, dishwasher detergent to really clean off the mold release. Once I'd done that, they went together no problem at all, but it was a little bit frustrating at first, I'll be honest. Uh, what I would say is they're all digitally sculpted. So the actual fits in their arms and the, um, in the legs where they come together is absolutely sort of sort of crystal cut. It fits together perfect. It's a really nice tight fit. I've not done any green stuffing on that. I've not done anything. I don't think there's anything that I'll need to do. Um, so quality of the models, I just re again, I've said it before, I can't sort of speak just how good they are. You've seen them on camera there as well. So hopefully you'll agree with that as well. Now my intention is I'm going to go through the five missions in the book and film those five missions so that you can get an introduction on how to play Infinity, taking it through step by step, where the first mission you use three models against three models, and it walks you through the basic sort of the, um, how to do, um, how to issue orders, how to shoot, how to fight in melee, how to do the ARO. So ARO, if it's, it's something that you're not familiar with, uh, with Infinity, is an automatic reaction order. And the, a little bit like Overwatch in 40k or in Kill Team, if you can see a model and it, and it makes a move or it shoots, you can shoot back at it, which is a really interesting kind of mechanic. And it means that when you're playing the game, you don't just kind of switch off and let your opponent take their turn and wait for it to come back to you. You're constantly kind of involved in the game. And I think there was a bit of a tagline a years ago where it's, it's always your turn. And that's certainly the case. So I've read through um, some of the missions. Um, what I would say is I think it breaks down what many consider to be a complicated rule set, it breaks it down into really kind of bite-sized chunks, gives you a fantastic introduction into the N3 rule set, which is the latest version of the Infinity rules. And if you're interested, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the bell notification as well, so you know when one of those videos goes live. I'll get through those, and I'll see you in the next video.